I was raised in Las Piñas, which is very close to a big uh, lake. Like, uh, so when I was growing up, it was a small city. It's not very congested and it was all fun. And we grew up with the fields, you know, catching dragonflies and everything like that. I'm a professional teacher in my country. I had an opportunity to teach overseas because my dad um, was assigned to work in China. While working in China, um, I met my former spouse. Actually, he's a Canadian, uh, Michael. We met uh, in, in our company, in our school, and he was the head teacher. We became friends and friendship turned into a good relationship. He got sick, you know, he, he kept on drinking and hiding it from me. I started communicating with his family via chat on Skype and calling them on the telephone. When things got really worse and he was not really calming down and I think he lost himself there, his sister told me, you know, take the next plane going here to Can Canada and, you know, we'll help you. It was very scary, like when I left. Uh, from China going to Canada. It's far, far away from home. Everything was so unsure and you have just enough money saved and you don't know how will that last because you don't know the cost of living, you don't know how much housing is, you don't know anything at all. We moved here, oh, when we moved here, December 14, 2010, it was the first day of snowstorm. It took us about six hours to get here because it was zero visibility and there were so many cars on the ditch and accidents already. I said, it's so cold. So I resented Canada. I said, I want to go home because it's so cold. It's like my clothing is not enough. Then. You know, one day I said, okay, let's go out, you know, take Maya out, my daughter. She was like so excited because it's snow. She kept on sticking out her tongue and kept on like licking the snow, <laughs> which was so funny. So she had a lot of fun. And then I said, you know what, I'll try to shovel. And yeah, and that snowstorm. And then I shoveled it and shoveled and shoveled. And I said, oh my God, it's taller than my daughter and I'm not yet done. So I shoveled some more and shoveled some more. And I said, oh my God, it's as tall as me. <laughs> he went to London looking for ESL teaching jobs and animation jobs. But unfortunately, there's nothing with his experience and the salary that he earns. Nobody would like to hire him because all they said he's overqualified. So what happened was, you know, he got frustrated and he felt bad about himself. So he came home drunk. So fighting started again. And then I found out I was pregnant before my daughter's birthday. And to be honest, I was crushed. At first, I, I wanted to run away and take my daughter back to my country. And my parents wanted me and my daughter to go back and even my former spouse to go back. In the end, the relationship fell apart. It was very traumatic for me because I was pregnant when I left him and I had to leave because he didn't know what he was doing. And I wanted to call the police for help because I sought um, help from violence against women and I was doing counseling there and they said that you know just call us and get all of your bags ready and your daughter's bag ready and then you can have shelter to stay. Canada Day is very meaningful for me <laughs> actually it brings back painful memory because I was alone Canada Day asking for help on how am I going to deal with my situation because I'm in an abusive relationship um, because I left him and he couldn't sponsor me anymore. I stayed in the shelter for a couple of months. I see how Canada is very good to my children. We get child tax benefit, which helped us a lot. It helped us a lot because currently, right now, I can't work because of my immigration status. The first people that helped me a lot will be Violence Against Women and then Al-Anon Family Group and then YWCA. So I was able to obtain social assistance to support my family. Well, actually they support us and you know, to survive here for the time being. And with that, we have a better life. My hope for the future, to be honest, is to be able 
to give back what I've gotten from Canada. Canada can be a tough place to be, but could be, you know, actually your, your um, what do you call this? Your help in the end or an anchor that you can hold on to in your rough time. Because where in the world can you find a place that would support you when you need something and would help your children?